Welcome to the International Code Space Online iCool Challenge at Virtual RoboCop 2020, friendlies. Before we begin, let's do a brief introduction of Code Space GP Challenge. Automation of routine tasks is currently a concept that interests many industries. Among the most revolutionary parts of it are autonomous vehicles. These are visions of the future of city infrastructure. The main ideas they all share are self-driving cars and shared mobility. Those are set to revolutionize the ways we navigate through cities. In Cospace GP Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. For the iQOO Challenge at Virtual RoboCup 2020, Participants need to program an autonomous car to navigate in a smart city. The autonomous car needs to pass multiple waypoints before reaching its final destination in the U19 category. The robot has an IR sensor array, an ultrasonic sensor, a RGB color sensor, and a gyroscope. It must stop at each waypoint for two seconds with LED flashing and then move away from the station autonomously. Throughout the Cospace GP challenge, participants will use different AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning to accomplish the task. The winner of the challenge will be the robot to pass all waypoints with the shortest time. Hi, I'm John G from Singapore. I participated in the Grand Prix U19 this year and actually I've only been involved in robotics since last year but before that I was already an avid programmer so the difficulty jump wasn't that high. Um, as can be seen on the screen right now, my robot is making its way through the cold space city so let me go through the strategies that I've employed for my run. I created more precise line tracking using the in-betweens of the line following sensors as well as a way to detect lineless sections right, such as junctions so as to make the required corrections. I use PID not only for my line tracking but also for the compass in order for more precise and faster turns. I also buffered the color detection in order to prevent misdetection so as in like several color detections are accumulated when it's above a certain luminosity threshold and after the luminosity threshold drops back down it takes the color in the middle which is most likely to be the accurate color. Also as can also be seen on the screen right I dynamically changed the robot speed for different sections. Um, overall, this code space experience has allowed me to brush up on my coding skills and like actually distress from quite a lot of school stuff. So yeah, I mean, it was quite fun, I guess. Uh, making the finals was fun, I guess. So you can see, like, I don't actually really like the simulator. The robot gets glitchy in a while, but yeah, one of the main parts about robotics is that you need to work through your challenges and solve them. So yeah, bye! And we're off! The robot has left the starting point. Oops! And we have passed our first waypoint. Awesome! Great turn! Second waypoint. Wonderful path planning. Third waypoint. Nice U-turn. So much time saved. Awesome. Oops. Great turn. Fourth waypoint. Fifth waypoint. We are now halfway done. Keep going. Wonderful path planning. Six waypoint. Nice U turn. Awesome. Great turn. Keep going. 
Seventh waypoint. Oops. Keep going. Almost there. Keep going. Last waypoint. Almost there. Oops. Keep going. And we have crossed the finish line. Great job! Congratulations! Challenge completed!